वेलकम बैक आप लोग देख रहे हैं माई ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ कोर्स हम यहाँ पे बात कर रहे हैं वेस्ट इंडीज़ की क्रिकेट के उस इला की जिसने जिसने क्रिकेट को रिवाइव किया और क्रिकेट क्रिकेटर्स को इंस्पायर किया ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड एंड देन गिव इट न्यू फेस एंड विद ग्रेट ऑनर एंड डिलइट समटाइम्स जब आपकी ट्रांसमिशन का हिस्सा बने ऐसे लेजेंड्स ऑफ क्रिकेट हु हैव सर्व क्रिकेट वेरी वेल दे हैव इंस्पायर्ड जनरेशन एंड वी स्टिल लुक अप टू दैम एज द आईकॉन्स ऑफ द स्पोर्ट एंड विद ग्रेट ऑनर एंड डिलइट um we have sir jeffrey dujon with us uh, sir jeffrey dujon thank you so much for being on our show and a very warm welcome to you well thank you very much for having me uh it's it's our pleasure uh sir the first thing that you know is associated with west indies cricket is that they have ruled the world of cricket for a decade and a half and uh, now the world cup is around the corner west indies has got a lot to prove the only thing is that are we expecting the same player that we saw in the earlier era well uh, i'm not too i'm not too sure about that um as you know west indies cricket has uh, i suppose it has declined declined in the last um 20 years or so and um you know they're in the process now of of trying to to rebuild it but i don't think that they've gotten to a position yet where they're going to really be a uh, a serious factor in this world right um so you have a new captain chris gale has been at the helm of the affairs for a long time uh, just before the world cup uh, only two series for the new captain now do you think that the team will be gelling together well i think that there there has been a slight um a slight you know change in in attitude and and that would probably be because of the, the style of leadership um i don't think that the current captain is going to end up being the the man you know in as as we go along but um there has been there has been a difference um in you know in sort of the the whole the whole team dynamic right and um obviously there is you know a possibility that west indies have done well in uh, india they have chased targets of 300 scored 300 so would that be a psychological boost well i uh, mayor i don't i don't really think that it you know it it players that are going to upset teams you know it it's going to be a team effort but i think that there will be here and there there will be some outstanding performances because there are some talented um players in in this western team you know Dick, um young Darren Bravo um he has he has been building so the building a reputation Chris Gale has a, already established you know the sort of repu- reputation um with that we've come to know Agreed. and um you have Aaron Pollard who in a different form of the game has proven to be a very dangerous player so these you know i think there there will be performances that may change games but in the end it it's the team effort that's going to have to win it and i don't think that west indies have the kind of bowling i think that's where they're weakest to really be a factor against the stronger teams in the world cup um they will have to survive right absolutely by absolutely. making very big Absolutely. Uh, so we have in our studios with us Mr. Amir Sohail, uh, one of the legendary uh, opening batsmen that Pakistan has produced. Over to him. Uh, Jeffrey, I would like to know, like you mentioned, that it it is going to be team effort and individual performances. Yes, they don't matter, but in the end, it is going to be the teams who are going to play collectively. But uh, can I ask you? Uh, uh, that players like chris gale and few others if they keep on uh, giving brilliant performances and your bowlers you have good quality bowlers uh, in nikita miller uh, suleiman ben kimar roach and one other fast bowler if they keep on performing consistently don't you think uh, west indies is going to upset quite a few teams in this world cup well i think the i think the bowling attack is something that is evolving i don't think that they with the best bowlers um are there for one reason or another you know injury um Jerome Taylor for example um injuries and and other thing, other factors have you know sort of affected that so but i and i don't see i don't see this bowling attack to be quite honest with you and the one that's going to make a, a whole lot of a difference it will look stronger and as you know amir you you, you would know this that you're batting 
your bo- your team, you know, your bowling team always looks stronger when the batsmen are making big, big scores. The attacking effort. It's going to have to be a batting effort. So they're going to have to make huge scores. They have the ability to make huge scores because I don't think they have the ability to bowl teams out for or restrict um, the, the better teams to, to, to small totals. So in a nutshell, uh, you're suggesting that the batting is going to be very vital in this uh, World Cup and the batsmen, they really have to come to the party. And let me put you on a spot. Who do you think is going to do well in this World Cup? Who are your favorite teams? Well, I think um, you have to go. You have to go by the seedings, and um, Australia and India are one and two. Uh, I would, I would say though that I would give India the edge because of the surfaces that they're going to play on. I think um, India will always be able to muster a better bowling attack on these surfaces, and um, we and we know the power of their batting. So they'll be playing in familiar conditions. You have to give them a bit of an edge, but not to rule out not to rule out Pakistan who are also playing in, in conditions that they are used to. So I would give the edge to the subcontinent teams but I would not um, I would not rule out you know teams like Australia and possibly England because um, you know they're playing good cricket, they're playing good one day cricket right now. The World Cup is, is right now. Well, Mr. Jeffrey Dujon, thank you so much for being with us and uh, I think uh, he just summed it up well, uh, didn't he, uh, for all of us, for Joan and Nika. Obviously, uh, it's the team that is going to matter, it's the team that has to come together. See, it's, it's, it's uh, yeh, mere khayal mein bohat important aspect hai is World Cup, mein ke team effort hoga, kyunke hum log uh, uh, apne legendary players hain, unke agar akbar mein bian padhen, to koi keh raha hai ke Shahid Afridi akela hi match jeet jayega, koi yeh keh raha hai ke Jishwe Bakhtar aapko match jeta jayega. लेकिन आई थिंक जब तक एज ए टीम एज ए यूनिट आप रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज और एक दूसरे को रोल्स दे के नहीं खेलेंगे तब तक आपके कामयाबी के चांसेस नहीं हाँ वन ऑफ गेम में कोई आउटस्टैंडिंग परफॉर्मेंस आएगी जिससे आप एक मेजर मेजर अपसेट करोगे या अपोजिशन को बिल्कुल कॉर्नर कर दोगे बट वेन इट कम्स टू विनिंग द वर्ल्ड कप इट हैज टू बी टीम एफर्ट Absolutely. Uh, Hamai Saat, uh, obviously we have uh, Kiran from Karachi with us. And Kiran, we are going to take a break. We will ask you after the break. We will ask you about the participants with you. What are the West Indies team? And we will ask you a question. So we will join you then. But after a short break.